Listen, if you're a frequent watcher of my YouTube channel, you've already proven to yourself that you have the finest of taste. You're a connoisseur of the nicer, more elite things in life. So we always like to talk about like the finest guitars in the land, like a Martin D35, those sexy big ticket items. But it's coming up on the holiday season, so I, I thought I would talk about my 10, my top 10 favorite high-end accessories, whether it's for yourself, uh, if you're a selfish, selfish person, or if you're getting a gift for a musician, these are some things that aren't just regular run-of-the-mill accessories. These are high-end accessories that make a real difference, right? Because usually when you think of accessories, you think of maybe like cheaper stuff that you can just kind of like get. They're like replaceable. They're just kind of like use it, toss it, whatever. But the high-end accessory is something that's not going to break the bank, but actually just, you know, it gives you that, that feeling of just being classy, like you're watching the Sean Daniel YouTube channel or something like that. So, I've got a bunch of the stuff that Sweetwater sent me or stuff that I've had for a long time. I'm gonna have affiliate links for all this stuff. But let's get to it. My top 10 favorite high-end accessories for those who deserve the finer things in life. All right, so, first of all, we're gonna start with the cable. This right here is the Mogami, right? This one, they, they make a bunch of different ones, but this is like the Platinum. This is like the cable to have. I first got one of these 12 years ago, I think it was now. Lifetime guarantee. Uh, it's just like the best, the best gift. It's like super quiet, eh, rugged, durable. It has a lifetime warranty, but you're not gonna need it because it's really never gonna break because it's just that good. It also has that classy, classy crimson tip so people know, because that's really the most important thing, right? You need people to know that you have that. If you like bust out the Mogami cable and you got that crimson tip sticking out there, people will be like, oh, that's someone who watches the Sean Daniel YouTube channel and shops at Sweetwater. Only the finest Mogami Platinum series. Coming up after that, this is actually cool. This is newer. So this is a Dodario Humidicate, right? Humidifiers aren't that sexy, whatever. Think again. This is kind of like the new cool thing on the box. So basically this has an app that you can actually attach and use your phone to check the humidity of whatever is in your guitar case, right? So depending on the climate that you live in, differences and like, you know, moisture level in the air can like crack a really nice guitar. So you want to kind of keep your, you know, keep, keep a good control over what's going on. So they finally have this thing. Cause it's like usually, you know, finding the right humidification system for, for a guitar is kind of like a science. I remember working in a guitar shop and like having the acoustic room. It's like you had to have it dialed in. Otherwise you were in for some trouble. So the cool thing is now you can actually check it on your phone and change it somehow. So this is a really cool gift, especially if you live in a climate that has, you know, fluctuating climatary conditions. So yeah, Dario, Humidicate, eh? the total humidification bundle. Check that out. Only the finest. All right, number three, what do we got number three? You've already seen these probably clip-on tuners, right? This is the Peterson Strobe Tuner Clip-On, right? Again, I've used Snarks for for many, many a year now. So this is this is it. Let's see if you can kind of like zoom in here, right? So it's funny, it's never in tune. Like, you know how like uh, a lot of tuners just light up when you get it to the right spot. It's like, you're in tune. This one is so accurate. It measures down to like a single scent because like tuning being on and off is like off, you know, by scents is what they're called. And uh, basically it has a wheel, like a strobe tuner, and you just have to get the wheel to stop, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny. It's like on maybe like on inferior guitars, it's almost impossible to get perfectly in tune. So if you've ever seen the actual Peterson strobe tuner, uh, like tuner type thing that you like plug into, that's how people do like intonations and setups and everything like that. They have this one that sits on a headstock. And again, a lot of cool features on this one. And yeah, it's like, if you really want to get like studio precise tuning to the scent, it's so good. like. My ears are nowhere near as good as this because I think what they say is like, you know, you can be like off tune like five cents or something either direction. And most people can't tell a difference. You cannot fool this thing. So be prepared. You better want to be in super tune if you want one of these Peterson clip on strobe tuner now. Cool that they have those. And again, just aside from the, the accuracy 
uh, the the feet of it is just like, it just feels more quality than a snark. No shade to the snarks. I've I've actually been a big fan of the snarks. In fact, if you're just looking for regular accessories and you just wanna, if you know if you know ten guitar players, I guarantee you everybody could use an extra clip-on tuner, no matter what it is. But that Peterson is just a little a little taste of the finer finer things. So speaking of things that you can just clip on your headstock, a capo. The G7 capo is the one to get, right? For the longest time, I used to use the Kaiser ones. Those are really great capos, especially for the money. But what I have learned is after several years, which again is really good, the rubber teeth on it can wear out, especially if you kind of keep putting it in the same spot. So they make little grooves in the rubber. And then once the string is in a rubberized groove, then it's like, all right, well, it's gonna vibrate and you're gonna get like buzz and stuff like that. These G7 capos are awesome because the rubber is like just, it never wears out. And then the pressure that you put it on is exactly how hard you actually clamp it on there. And then you just release it with this mechanism instead of like a clamp with a spring because the spring's gonna wear out like over time. So again, the pressure is however hard you wanna like really put it on there, it's another one. So get yourself the Cadillac of capos as they call it. After that, Hercules, right? If you ever see the black and the yellow, you know you're in for a quality experience. And you may have seen the Hercules stands. Those are probably like the best like guitar, just like stands in the business that I've ever seen. Really, really <laughs> the finer things. If you see somebody with multiple Hercules stands, you know that they sold their crypto at the right time because <laughs> they got out and made a killing, right? So this right here is a stand attachment that you can put your phone in. Okay, so really cool and really, really valuable to have one of these for several, several different reasons, okay? If you've ever played live, you know. And it doesn't have to be like, you know, one thing that I would use it for a lot, and I have used things like this before. I've never had a Hercules one. They did Sweetwater just sent me this one. This one's really cool. I'm stoked to finally have this now. It just mounts onto your microphone stand, right? And then you can just take your phone and then you just open up, again, this is just, you just pull it, put your phone in, and then you're good to go, right? So now you get your phone here. So a less experienced performer could use it for lyrics, and they just have like lyrics, and they could have an app that scrolls the lyrics along with it or whatever. Super cool. What is great about this is uh, if you're a performer, you want to be recording your performances, and sometimes you don't always have a capability of like maybe putting a camera on like a tripod and having it where you don't have access to it, that can be a, a precarious situation I've known from experience, like playing like busking gigs and having little kids just try to like knock your tripod over just because it's something that they can damage. So you can actually use this, put your camera in there, and uh, again, you can have this set up in whatever direction you want, right? So you can have it any orientation you want. And uh, the the ball joint here is just phenomenal, right? As soon as this is one screw and then it holds it tight however it is, so you can basically use this as a camera, right? Uh, Front-facing, back-facing camera, however you want to set it up, but you can record your performances and then just put it on a mic stand, put it on a tripod. You can clamp it to anything, right? One thing about the place that we busk at St. Armand's, uh, there's a bench right near the spot that we usually play at. Just clamp it to the top of the bench, boom, got yourself a tripod, mic stand, camera stand, whatever. Or you can use it for just lyrics, right? So awesome to have one of these. It's also going to be used in conjunction or as a replacement or either or. For the next one, it's going to be the K&M stand extension. Okay, this is really cool because you can use it in the exact same way that you use this, or you can actually use it to put like a tablet on, right? For the longer gigs that I've done where we take a lot of requests, it's great to have a tablet because my eyes are so bad, especially in like these dimly lit like restaurant gigs where I'm either gonna have to have my phone on like max brightness to see because I'm just getting old and my eyesight's going <laughs> or I, I would much rather use my iPad and just have an actual screen where I don't have to worry about just zapping on my phone battery. So the nice thing about this stand here is it just uh, is an unobtrusive way to add a tablet holder or whatever you wanna put. You can put your wallet on there, your keys, you can put your phone and a tablet, you just put sheet music, anything there. I think it's just a really sleek profile and the way that you screw it on, you can do it for any orientation. And again, you can get creative. It doesn't have to be to a mic stand. You can just use it for a host of insane high-end applications, but high-end applications only, because like I said, 
We're talking about the finest. So, I'm telling you, these things, having something like this, an extension that you can just rest anything on, is a lifesaver, even just to have like in your car or whatever. Just because I promise you, I promise you, at a live show or whatever, there's going to be a spot where you want this. And it is tough carrying a mic stand and a music stand and a camera tripod or whatever all over. A lot of times you have to cram yourself into tight spaces. So that's why extensions are the way to go. Word to the wise though, you want to have it in line with one of the feet from the tripod or mic stand that you're using because then you, you're going to have like the, the strongest support and you don't have to worry about stuff tipping over depending on how you set it up. So. Definitely super high end. Gotta love those. Those are fantastic. That's gonna bring us to our next one, Elixir Strings. You guys know that I talk about Elixir Strings all the time. I really do believe they are the highest end of acoustic guitar strings. My favorite ones are the NanoWeb Phosphor, Phosphor Bronze 12s. There's just no better strings in the world, right? Best strings on earth, they last forever. Uh, every guitar player should at least try them. Some people don't like coded guitar strings, totally fine. No, no shade, do your thing. I just, I love the coated strings. Elixirs are my favorite of all time. Like I said, I do a bunch of videos with them. Full disclosure, but uh, I really believe that they're the finest, the finest strings that money can buy, right? So speaking of gigs and stuff like that too, this is a backpack that I have used for a while now. This is the Dario backpack. Uh, it is made specifically for musicians. Absolutely love this thing. The pocket layout is awesome. You might be like, well, what's so cool about like a pocket layout? Uh, allow me to show you. First of all, this one, the front facing one, you can keep all your cables in here, right? So they have separated compartments for all your cables. So you can kind of just like stash them here. Again, I just have my like power cable poorly wrapped still. And then like my sub uh, extension. And then you keep them in there so you don't have to have this giant tangle of mess. Keep your XLRs separate from like your mic, uh, your instrument cables, stuff like that. Those compartments are so handy because after a gig, I really, I really usually just want to get out of there quick. So wrap them up quick, toss them in there. And then uh, you still have the top spot where you can just jam stuff. Right now I have like a, like a 50 foot extension cable in because of, because of power issues at the venues that I usually play in. That's another sneaky pro tip for a potential accessory you might want, just like an extension cable. They don't even have to be musicians. Everybody could use an extension cable for like anything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the inside pockets are awesome. They have these like really cool little separators in here, which is where I keep my uh, my wireless stuff when I'm not charging it. If I know it's already charged, they're all in separate pockets. And then again, the compartments are easy. Little camera, little 4K camera you can just throw up, which also you can mount with uh, that Hercules stand too. Great backpack. People will be like, why would you spend that much on a ba backpack? This is specifically made for the gigging musician in mind. This is, and it looks great. This has been through a lot of gigs with me and it's still, I feel like this still looks like a brand new backpack. Slick and sick, all right. Next one, kind of goes in tandem with that. This is a Gator Titan series uh, hard shell case, right? So these things are really cool, especially if you're traveling and uh, or if you're just throwing a bunch of stuff in a van or something like that uh, depends on what tr what you're doing if you want to keep something safe you don't want to throw it in a backpack the one thing that i will say about gigging with like expensive gear in a backpack just be careful with how you put it and like load it in and out now sometimes if you're going with like a whole band everything just gets like crammed in like a van or something like that for me i usually just do acoustic duo stuff so it's not that much, it's just the backpack and the PA and the guitars and the stands, that's all I have to worry about. But if you do have like expensive microphones and stuff and you just jam into a backpack, then the PA gets thrown onto or crushed in there. Not the best protection. That's where you might want something like this, like this cool hard shell case, right? Now this is really cool because it comes with these inserts and then you can punch out uh, whatever it is that you're putting in here, right? I actually like these more for camera gear, is like the main thing that I use them for. It comes with a couple of them. Again, it's got the nice cat padded top, and then super hard shell bottom. And then it comes with two of these, so you can punch out whatever it is. Like for example, this Sony camera that I'm using on if I were traveling or like going overseas or something like that, or even just any kind of plain thing where I'm just, 
I don't have it on me all the time. Uh, you can punch out the exact shape of a camera, of a fancy microphone, of like specific wireless stuff, and then uh, you, you're guaranteed to have the finest, most secure fit that you could ever possibly want, right? And then, again, this thing is super heavy duty, so you don't, you don't have to worry about uh, anybody ever breaking into one of these because this thing is on lock. So, shout out to Gaten, Gator Titan Series cases. So I think that's nine. Number 10, I wanna shout out the Sennheiser Creator Kit, okay? So right now I am using a Sennheiser mic that is going into the hot shoe on my Sony a7C camera. I do wanna count this as a, an accessory because this is something that I actually use pretty much every day, all right? So the Creator Kit, you can actually use with your phone. Basically it comes with a little, little mini tripod thing like this, right? That you can set up wherever you want. And a mount much, really kind of similar to the Hercules mount as far as like how it works, pulling it. And you can have it set up to uh, any direction that you want, right? The nice thing about this is you can mount the Sennheiser microphone that comes with it on top of this and use your phone. The great thing about this microphone, it's like a little mini shotgun. And I always have this plugged into my secondary camera to get the audio. I can't tell you how many times having two, I do two camera shots for most of my videos. Can't tell you how many times this has saved me having a secondary super high quality audio thing that I can kind of like go back and forth between. Now I'm using the MKE 440, I think mic on top of the camera right now. I would say that's maybe like a slight step up, but you really can't tell the difference between the Creator Kit mic and that. There's really like a very marginal difference. And I actually like this one a little bit better because the uh, battery that it has actually turns on and off with the camera, right? You can see how like that little green LED says it's on. And as soon as the camera goes off, after a few seconds, this is gonna turn off too. A lot of times I'll forget to turn that battery off and uh, it just drains. So this thing is awesome. If you're a creator on the go, really incredible sound that this comes with and it also comes with the little mini tripod and the uh, little holder thing. For your phone, again, I don't even use it for my phone. I put it on the hot shoe of my secondary camera, Sony ZV-1. So all these things are super high-end accessories that I really think that any musician can benefit from, right? They've made my life a lot easier. Uh, I have personally used all of these with the exception of this, but this is gonna become my new go-to one for sure, the uh, Hercules one. And the Humidipack is the other thing that is pretty much new to me, and the, the Peterson strobe tuner. So I know from experience how important having high-end accessories are. So if you are buying for a musician this holiday season or for any kind of special occasion, definitely maybe consider some of these. Whatever you get, make sure to get it through Sweetwater.com because they're such a big supporter of mine. And like I said, affiliate links are in the description. And if you have any questions on any of these, let me know in the comment section or Instagram or the website, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.